they don't fly, I get rid of them. <laughs> you know, I like them up in the clouds. Yeah. Hey, welcome back guys. Today we're gonna go check out Triple D Feeds Loft and do an interview with Peter. Let's see what his setups look like and what kind of birds he's working with. See you guys there. Triple D Feeds, this is me Pete, my son Devin, and my wife Dawn. What's up? You guys What's saw them up? last time at the show, at the auction. Yeah, we're waiting for the next one. Definitely, August 28th. We're waiting 28th, for the next one, August right? 28th, we're ready. Yep, so this is uh, the, the shop they got going on here. A different type of feed. They got a little bit of everything. Three brands. Versalaga, brown. Formulas. Feeding. Uh, brick feeders. Brick feeders. Different size of water brick cans right there. Feed feeders. Brick feeders. I got uh, water go. I got nest, nest bowls. Nest right here, yep. Nest bowls, nest pads. I got the pick pots. Bigger feeder down here. Cool. Ideal blocks I got over here. Ideal blocks. And then all kinds of medicine. Whatever medicine. Oh yeah, got. I see that right there. Four in one. The dewormer stuff too. Yeah, the worm vitamins. Yeah. Bread cell. What is the yeast used for? <coughs> it's mainly for like the water. It's it's, it's a vitamin, you know. Okay. It's a vitamin for okay. the birds. I asked somebody for a few bags of feed, and the guy said he couldn't bring them by, and then I said, let me get feed, because I don't drive. Gotcha. And that's that's how I got into business. Gotcha. How's the business been? Good? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Very I good. got customers. Got that's nice, good. Nice Every day. flow, steady customers. Yeah. Yeah. Every day's a new customer. That's great. They're coming from the boroughs. Oh wow! Yeah, they coming from the boroughs, Staten Island. You know, they coming. A lot of home and guys. A lot of home and guys. All my guys are home We have a couple of clubs that are on board and real happy we're local for them. Gotcha. So I like to get the fancy guys if they want to stop by. You know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, if the fancy guys want to stop by, I'm more than welcome to sell. I'm open seven days a week. So uh, for the feed, like, what is the cheapest bag? What is the most expensive the, bag? What do you guys have? I got twenty dollar bags of parks. Uh huh. And then I got twenty-three dollar bags. Uh, I think thirty-three is twenty-two dollars. Twenty-three dollar bags. The cheapest is what? The cheapest is twenty. Twenty, okay. 20. And what is that? A forty-pound bag? No, these that's are, a fifty-pound bag. These are fifties. Okay. Yeah, these are fifty-pound bags. Okay. You know, and then I got a twenty. That's uh, that's a pretty good deal, no? These yeah, I mean, two Bavins and Versalaga are top of the line okay. on the feed. That's yeah, good that, to know. That's so my that, biggest seller. And we okay. keep them all at the same price. I'm not gonna gotcha. pick each one, but the Browns does have quite a few formulas. So and there's a big price. range of prices. So there. the Browns is this right here Correct. that we're looking at. Okay, great. And this is the uh, the other brand, right? Versalaga. Versalaga, yeah. And that one is the, the Bavings. And I got Versalaga for $25, too. 50 oh, okay. pound big. Great. 50 pound big. The, the racing pigeons for racing. Nice. When you look at this feed, here's the my big thing. This yeah. feed, there's not a speck of dust on it. Gotcha. We used to carry another brand that was very, very dusty. So when it's dusty, they're basically adding to the weight and it's not kinda, really... And it's kind of yeah. dirty. It's not yeah, good for the bird's it, health. It, it, I don't think it's very bird's healthy bird's for the birds. Gotcha, so gotcha. wherever it's coming from, I'm guessing like it sits in like a mill. So when they load it into a bag, it builds all dust and all this other stuff with the corn. Uh -huh. So like if you get browns, it's going to have like when you put it in your hand, you can see more dust on your hand than you would with Versalago or Baden's. For Versalago is probably the best. It's nice and clear, everything's good in the feed. All different types, black peas, corn, green peas, it has it all. And that's probably one of the best feeds, that's Versalago. A, that's actually really uh, interesting. I never, you know, considered that that's or thought thing, of that, yeah. you know? And then I think a lot has to do with the corn. So I, I know on them, when you put corn in the uh, feed, the price goes up. Yeah, okay. So I guess the corn has a lot more, you know, there's different size corn, there's a the small yellow corn, and then there's the popcorn. 
Gotcha. Which is much bigger. So there are different types of corns. Oh, okay. And I think that has plates into the pricing. Now, what are these now? These are just uh, these are those samples. are samples of all of the, the different. Yeah, gotcha. these are samples. Gotcha. Black Label. Gotcha. Start. Okay. I got. We're waiting for so a delivery. Have, uh, yeah, I got. I got a big selection, selection here. Yeah, yeah I got yeah. a big selection, and yeah. I'm waiting on another order. Yeah, we're it's coming waiting in, for you know? a delivery on the Versalaga. That's why there's only a few here. Yeah. No, what about this Baden bag over here? What is that? Uh, short face tiplets for short face. For short face, okay. For short face, I got. Uh, we have the uh, short face, short face, super flyer, Vini special, millennium, millennial, and quest. And quest. My gotcha. biggest seller is the quest. Which one is the quest? Uh, right the here. quest is this pile gotcha. right here. That's my biggest seller. Gotcha, gotcha. And then you have all the grits. There's so many different kinds of grit. Yeah, there's multiple. So like you there's the red body. grit. Yeah. There's the, the red grit. grit. It's good for like dark colored birds. If you have like white homing pigeons or white birds, the best is probably gray. They stay much cleaner than they would with the red. Makes sense. Yeah. Peanuts, yeah. morning cans, tobacco stems. Oh, what is the tobacco stem for? Uh, uh, does, for the breeding. tobacco breeding. stems are for like uh, it's like just like hay or shavings that you put in the nest bowls. It's probably much more healthier than using hay. Hay carries bugs. Okay, so it does like deter pests and yeah, things yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, it kills gotcha. the bugs. Gotcha. It kills okay. the bugs, you know. Okay. And then we decided yeah. to repackage all the the um, the grains Black, because sometimes if this doesn't have as much hemp as you would want, yeah. you can always add to it. Gotcha. So we got the hemp, the safflower, the flax. I try not to sell that rapeseed because it is very dangerous to feed the birds. Okay. So Good to know. Very, very little is, is needed. And unless you know what you're doing with it, it could be dangerous. We come open seven days, eight to eight. If anybody is welcome to come by, seven days, eight to eight, guys. Eight to eight. <laughs> what kind of birds are these in here? These are okay. And or why are they separated from the rest? Yeah, before we throw them inside the coop, we usually just keep them on the side yeah, for I'm seven, cool. eight days on good quarantine. So these are for like auction birds or new, newly acquired yeah, birds. Yeah, like birds that you recently got, you keep them for a couple of days. So if you throw them into the coop. And you don't know where they come from, you don't know what type of diseases they can bring in your birds. So we keep them here seven, eight days, then we transfer them into the bigger coops. Gotcha. And these are the bigger coops. Oh, we got some birds out already. I flew old Canadians on 73rd and 7th with a stock of flights up there. I was up there for like 20 years up on a roof. That's how I got and, started. Uh, I had a, my son used to go uh, carry up a, a metal ladder. Seven years old, used to go up on a ladder. I used to say, don't come up, you, you know, you I'm can't gonna come fall. up. You're gonna fall down the ladder. I go right on up anyway. And he used to go up there with me. I used to have about uh So you've been doing it since you were born, basically, right? Yeah, I've been right? doing it since I was born. I basically got brought up with them. So Peter, um, did your father like used to fly too? I used like? to fly with my uncle Carmine. Okay. But he passed away. And our yeah, he's he's dead about 30 years. We used to fly on uh, so you're 83rd and 15th Bensonhurst. So you say your cousin? Yeah, my cousin. So he my got uncle, he got you started, or your my uncle? My uncle got me started. Okay. You know, he used to fly on uh, with Little Al on 659th Street in Fort Hamilton. Uh, he had birds up there for so many years. He used to fly flights up there, all black flights. Okay. And and that's how I started with with pigeons with my uncle. But I had them when I was eight years old. And then when my son turned eight or nine, he, he started liking them. And since then, he's been into them. Okay. He's been, been stuck with them ever since. Yeah. This loft, it's all like odd colored tipplers and all, all like yellows. odd stuff. Yellows, white bars, a lot of odd colored birds. How's the breeding going this year? Pretty good, pretty good, you know. I, I, I use Baden's and I use uh, Versalography. The birds are real healthy. You know, no spins yet, but I inject them. Okay. You know, and I get more This is a. Uh, oh, yeah, we see some, I see some babies already. Yeah, actually. This, this is my breeder's coop. Okay. And then um, this is a mix. Like, there's a mix of birds in here, or these no, are all no, pure strain? All, all tiplets. 
Okay, this is Old purely Canadian. tipless. Oh, look at these. Canadian. Babies, so this is how they get once they start growing, they start getting their feathers. When they're born, they're growing either pink or they have more of that yellow coloration on them. And when they grow, they grow out their feathers more and more and they become into these. Nice. Yeah? Uh, people say I don't have birds, I got birds. I got birds for sale too if they want to pay the price. Nice. You know, I got yellows, yellow caps. I got a lot of nice birds. I got young birds for sale too. Old Tiplets Canadians. I got rollers, baldies, flights. I got flights. I got, I got uh, baldies. I got rollers. And do you guys fly these or these are uh, breeders uh, saying? Yeah, we, yeah, okay, we let them out. We fly them. Out. Where the main focus is on that coop. We have that coop out mostly every day. They're all we This coop's more like a breeding coop. We breed young ones. We bring them into the air for the flying. Yeah, these, these are some uh, young ones right there, right? Yeah. Three of them sitting yeah. there. They're starting to get some feather in them. Nice. I had a really like odd pigeon in here. Very odd. Very odd. Hey, so how much do you sell your birds for? My, my birds, I, I sell them for ten dollars each, and I'll, you okay. know, I sell them for ten dollars in each. $10 I'm a Canadian a guy. I got Pakistan. This is a chocolate tiplet. Chocolate grizzle. You lay with like a with like a lace tail. Nice. So this is the uh, breeding loft essentially right here that Peter just showed us. This is the uh, main loft with the flyers, right? Yeah, my flyers. I got tiplets and I got some flights. I got some nuns. Mostly old Canadians. Old Canadians, you know. I fly about 150 birds. That's about it. Old young ones out. And uh, you fly. I'm gonna wait for this train to go. That's the bad thing. So, do you fly now? Um, a question I wanted to ask was uh, yeah. all year round? Yeah, yeah, I fly all the way up to November. Okay. And then when November here comes, uh, it's hawk season. They, they they go for the birds at that time. Like November, I, December, yeah, December. I try to keep them in in November, you know. I fly them all the way up to November, right after Thanksgiving. I pull them in. But a hawk uh, grabs a good. Uh, 50, yeah, I see you 50. got you got a good amount of trees yeah. here, so that makes it. He grabs tough. a good fifty on me, you know. Yeah. I, I like chasing them, you know. I don't want to look at them. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know a lot of people like to leave them in there. Yeah. Look at them. The trees, yeah. So, uh, how many birds would you say you have all together? Maybe over 300, 300 Yeah, or I got so? about three, three fifty. Yeah, three, three fifty. And then I got, I got a stock of uh, booties if you, if you want to, you know, look at. Yeah, we definitely check booties, those out. Junk booties. I got booties for sale. If anybody's interested in them. Uh, a very nice call. setup. Check these guys out in here. Oh, so we got a total of what? Three lofts? Yeah, uh, no, I got about a one, two, three, four. I got about six lofts. Six lofts, okay. Yeah, I got about eight different kind of birds. I okay. got booties here. So yeah, so this is actually uh, yeah, sectioned off from that. Yeah, it's a different yeah. coop. Yeah. And these are uh, short face booties. Just watch your uh, stuff. Yeah. Short face booties. These are short face booties. They're like more of like a smaller bird. They fly just as well as a regular, like, tippler. I had birds you know, for 30 years. I came from Brooklyn. I had them in Bay Ridge. I had them for, like, 20 years in Bay Ridge. Uh, I got the strain from Bay Ridge. Okay. My strain is So, so your Ridge. strain goes back to 30 yeah, years? Yeah, my, my birds are 30 years, yeah, 30 years going back. And that's you know? that's Canadian. primarily the uh, the tipplers, the Canadian yeah, tipplers. Yeah, the, the Canadians, you yeah. know. Um, there they go.
Okay. I clean them mostly every other day. I clean five different groups every day. How long does that take you? It, it takes me about two and a half hours every day. Oh, wow. And now um, you have fancy pigeons like this. Oh, wow. What kind of bird is this? This is called a Modena. This is a Modena. Modena. I got a pair of those. We have a pair of Modenas. Nice. They're nice big birds. Now these nice birds fly too or no? Now these are mainly just for show. Like you can put them in the shows. You can let them out walk around your loft. But if the most they're going to do is go from the, the, the loft onto the to grass. The floor. They're, okay. they're, they're not going to go far. So they'll fly a few feet. Yeah, yeah. 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 What else we got? And I and I got a stock of rollers. Oh yeah, all Birmingham different rollers? colors. Yeah, Birmingham rollers. That's all uh, different colors. That's, Yellows. That's what I used to fly. The yeah, Birmingham so rollers. I got, look, look at the inside. I got all different kind. I got uh, yeah. almonds, reds. Yeah, we got uh, yellows. So in this group, we have Birmingham rollers, bald head rollers, and uh, West of England tumblers. Okay. And where do you uh, access that from? That side? Yeah. This is, the door is right here. Peek inside. So you have the uh, bald head rollers. You have the West of England's. That's these are a, a pair of blacks, and those are a pair of Andalusians. This is a blue, a, a blue. Nice. And, and I do sell them too. Okay. I do sell them. For ten dollars and up, if anybody's interested, you know we have uh, yep. the, the baldies. We try to get all the fire of color, you know. Yeah. Today it's in the 80s, the humidity, the birds don't want to fly. I give it another month in September, they'll be flying. If they don't fly, I get rid of them. <laughs> you know, I like them up in the clouds. Yep. And I like when the hawk comes too. That, that gets them up there, right? Yeah, the yeah. hawk gets them up, but I get them up without the hawk. You uh, use like a, you know, a pole with a garbage bag? Or, yes, I or do. I use a pole. I chase them. Okay. They fly for two hours. Okay. They fly. They roll out to South Jersey. They go out. Nice. I, I, I don't have no tree birds like a lot of people. And I don't have birds that I look at. Yeah. I don't look at it with a chair and sit down and look at them. My birds are healthy. What is your uh, your favorite, like, uh, I guess, breed of pigeon? A breed of pigeon? I, I like my booties. Your boot, okay. Yeah, I like my booties, you know? Yeah, that's those right there. Yeah, I like my booties. You know? I, there, I right? leave them out, too. And these are the booties Yeah, no, right those here. are my best, you know. I got I got them from Connecticut. I got them from a guy in Connecticut. And then this is the, I have them about a, about a year now. Yeah, you see they got the short yeah, beak. I got, yeah, I got young booties for sale, if anybody's interested. And booties are good flyers too? Yeah, they fly. Yeah. They fly. They ain't show booties, they fly in booties. They okay. from New York. Gotcha. New York booties. The old school. And I got some flights too. I don't like flights. How the how how the rollers perform? Oh uh, they, they roll, yeah, they roll. They they do. I got about seventy rollers, they fly. What about uh, racing birds? You guys race at all? Uh, no, I have a few racing birds, but uh, I, I don't race. I'm okay. not a racer. But all my clients is a lot, a lot to do with uh, a lot to do with my uh, a lot to do with home and pigeons. Gotcha. A lot of my customers are eighty percent the home and pigeons. I I like if the it was more fancy. Yeah, I like if the fancy guys want to stop by, you know? You you can stop by and just see what I have, Definitely. you know? Definitely. You can stop by and see what I have. More than welcome. And then if you guys are interested, if I could get a bag for you a little less than uh, $22, you, you 
you gotta let me know, you know? Yeah. Flying know. homing pigeons takes a lot of time and dedication. If you want to, uh, if you don't want sick birds, you gotta give them quality feed. Definitely. You gotta give them quality I'm feed. I'm thinking even uh, people that don't own pigeons, I just wanna buy feed for the wild birds. Yeah. I mean, 20 bucks for a 50 pound bag, that's cheap. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a good price. That's a good I, price I don't think you're there. gonna find it cheaper at like no. PetSmart or any of those other not, stores. Not that at sell all. It. Not even, not even like track $20 supply. will get you a 15 pound bag. That's what I'm saying. Wheat. Yeah, and, yeah. And another thing uh, with, uh, with Chewy, I'm, I'm the same price with Chewy too. Okay, you Chewy's know, online, right? Chewy's online and everybody, but I'm the same price with Chewy. Chewy, last uh, two weeks ago, they were like 28 a bag, 29 a bag. But now they're on the, they're online for 34 a bag or 33 a bag. So we got, I got I got the Versalaga bag of feed for 33 and I leave it like that. Yeah, yeah. You know. So yeah, good. Every couple of months the feed will either go up or the feed will go down. It's yeah, depending and I, and on, I got a special the, going on, the time on too, a dollar yeah. off at the auction. Okay. Only on feed, a okay. dollar off on the auction, only on feed. There I don't know go. if any of these guys out there do it, but you know I'm gonna ha you know I'm gonna be at the show. August 28th. Yep. Rain gonna, date was set for, I think, September what? Um, Se I think it was September 11th. Uh -huh. The rain date is September 11th. Yeah. I'm going to be there from 8 o'clock in the morning, 8 to 1. Eight to yep. one. It's going to be me, my wife, Devin, my daughter, his girlfriend, and my, and my brother-in-law, Matt. You know, we're going to be there, and you, everybody's more than welcome to come by. Definitely. Yeah, I'll definitely try to make it again. See, we'll, uh, see who shows up and what yeah, you, you know, have. any new comes want to come, they come. You know, sometimes when new people come, they're coming just for a Pacific pigeon. If we don't have it this time, there's always going to be another one to repeat after it. So if it's yeah. not going to be at this auction, it will be at their next auction, or if not, the auction after that. Definitely. So if you can't find it, you'll definitely find that at some point. Or I guess uh, maybe even make a list of what you guys uh, will bring, or what, what maybe other people that are guaranteed to come will yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That yep. way, uh, you know. My, my my phone number is uh, 917-681-6982. Who's going to pick it up is going to be Dawn. Okay. Dawn's going to be on the phone if anybody's interested. You know, you also, you, uh, you shout, you want to shout out about, you know, coming by or buying feed and this and that. I'm always uh, more than welcome for new clients. Yep. Thanks so much, you, you know. You can also uh, contact us uh, through our uh, Facebook group, uh, which is uh, Triple D Feeds. We also have that. We also have two Facebook groups. Um, we also have uh, the auction. We also, I'm in the process of making Instagram for the uh, pigeon feed. Yeah. And uh, post some pictures, get some of that going, and should be going good. Definitely. Yeah, I used to keep uh, Birmingham rollers. Uh, this was like back in 2010, I want to say. But this was in Long Island. And oh, um, right. once you, I once I moved out here, I had to get rid of everything. Well, what pet shop do you used to go there out there? So uh, Lindenhurst. Lindenhurst, yeah, yeah, I know that pet shop. I've been there. Yeah, they got a lot go of auctions out on Long Island yep, too. Yep. Shouting out for those Long Island guys. I got something going on in uh, uh, East Brunswick. If you guys are interested, definitely. You know, yep. Long Island, Brooklyn, Staten Island. Yep. It's gonna all be is a, welcome. Family, friends, all yeah, is welcome. Everybody's welcome. Kids invited. Kids, you know? everybody. Yep. Come on down. Have a Come good on morning. Down. It's gonna be a nice, uh, be a nice auction. Have a great time. Sounds great good. time, guys. Sounds good. Let's take a look at these birds over here again. It's not about what you have in pigeons, it's about how you take care of them. If you take care of them, you're gonna have healthy birds and they're gonna fly too. I'm a Canadian guy, back in the old days. This one right here. You gotta give them fresh water every day. Fresh water, clean out those water cans with uh, bleach. Nice looking bird. Yeah, bleach. definitely. Bleach, clean them out with bleach. Get a, get, get a can and put bleach in there and let, let them soak overnight in the morning. So this is the uh, new screen in Peterbilt. Yeah, if, if anybody's interested in building screens, uh, give me a shot. Well, I guess lofts too, shot. right? Yeah. You guys do everything. Lofts too, yeah, I build lofts. My I son build builds lofts. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's reasonable. Yeah. 
and build it all. Screens, yeah, cool poops, things, windows, bump bars, I can do it all. You guys built uh, this loft too or no, was it just... No, our loft was bought and we placed it and we built uh, the outside. So it was like a shed it. initially? Yeah, and it was a regular shed. It was yeah. a regular shed that I bought. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, I got, I got this shed down here like 17 years now. Oh wow. I had the birds here for 17 years. I'm fine here. My neighbors, my my neighbors are fine with the birds, you know. Yep. The coolest part about it is I got a solar light. So at night when you come down here, the light will turn on. It will light up this whole portion oh, nice. of it. It's, uh, it's underneath. You can yeah, I saw the picture you posted yeah. and the birds were still chilling yeah. at night. Yeah, yeah. And, and guys, if you don't want to use electricity at night, solar. go out there and buy those solar lights. You know, you leave the lights on your coop. You have uh, light in the coop all, uh, all night long. And you don't have to 24 hours, and you don't even have to pay for the light. Yep. You know, that's a good thing, you know, that it helps straight from the sun. Oh, my other question for you guys is like, you know, what do you guys like about the hobby, and what do you guys dislike about the hobby? Uh, the disliking is probably the cleaning up part. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the only yeah. dislike uh, the cleaning, but I like cleaning. Yeah. You know? And I and I, I got a few friends in town that I help them out. An older guy, Bill Stanford, and you know I, every now and then I go over there and help him out with his coop. Cause the guy's old, you know he don't have nobody to help him. I help him out every now and then. The uh, the best part about him, honestly, is probably having friends come over and be like, "Well, what is that? Why do you have pigeons? They don't know what it is. It's like an old dying hobby." So like kids my age, they don't have them no more. So like when they see it, they're like, wow, what is that? Like, yeah. that's crazy. I never seen that before. If some young kids want to get into the hobby, it's nice, you know, keep them off the streets. You, you don't have to have a hundred birds. You can have two or three. Yeah, definitely. It's you a, can have a, a small hobby, kit you know? box, you know. It's a, yeah, a little kit box, and a little box with three, Keep like a dozen, birds. yeah, even a keep, dozen, yeah. Keeping a dozen birds, it keeps the kids off the street, you know. Yeah. And it's nice. You, you keep them trouble. in the yard. Keeps the time go by. The time yeah. goes by. And it's a nice hobby. Yeah. You know? And it's a dying hobby too, you know? Maybe the young the young kids can get out there and see what birds are, what the birds are about. Definitely. You know, and it's a lot of competition out there too. Maybe uh maybe uh, next year I might go into tiplet racing out in Jersey. I know guys don't uh, don't uh don't race tiplets. Racing tiplets. We're chucking them up and everything, you know. Yeah. We have some competition out here, you know. How are the uh, how are the tiplets' homing ability? I mean, can they, you know, can you take them as far as homers? Yeah, no? you could take them into Staten Island and they come yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all depends, you know. Because I know depends. I know the rollers are not that great. No, with the homing. Not like a homer. Maybe, Maybe a few miles or so. No, or Canadians like that, can make it back. Yeah, don't make Canadians it back. make it back from the Bronx, you know, if you have the right. If It'll you chuck them up, yeah, miles. yeah, they, they 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 go fifty to hundred miles. What's the longest your uh, your tiplet's been up flying for? You're flying for, I could get them up there for two hours, an hour and a half. Okay. That's winter time. Maybe That's in the, all of them. Maybe That's in the winter time they fly all like day. All like two hundred birds a good two hours. But if you let out 10, 15, 20 at a time, yeah. they're staying up a good four or five hours. They ain't coming down. Gotcha. When there's a lot of birds, they like to go up and come down fast. When there's less, they yeah. like to stay up there and fly longer. If I fly forty birds, they fly all day. But if I fly my whole stock, they ain't flying. Do you got? Do you guys ever bring down other people's birds? Do they come uh, down with yours? Not, not too much around here. Cause not too many people fly birds. It's a few guys, they fly 10 birds around here, you know, they're into that sport. Gotcha. Every once in you know? a while you come down here, you'll see like a street rat on the coop. Other yeah. than that, you're not really going to catch much. Yeah, you ain't catching nothing yet. Are you guys, are you guys able to like identify your birds versus someone else's bird that comes down? 100%. 100%. Our birds have blue bands or yellow bands. Ah, okay. Blue and yellow bands. So when they okay. land, if they don't have no bands or if they so do have right bands and it's not so red or blue yellow. Band right there, yeah. 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 yeah, but some of them don't have bands, but I didn't ban them yet, but I'm going to start banning them as soon as I start chasing them. But besides the band, can you just visually look and tell, like, that's yeah. not my bird? or that's 100%. Some, you guys know your birds yeah. in and out. I yeah. got 350. I know every bird I, I have, and I know every bird I lost. Oh, wow. And we can spot a bird that doesn't belong in there if we catch yeah. them. What about uh, now pairing? How do you go about pairing your birds? I, 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 I pair them off in a box when I want to pair them off. And, and then what? You pair them based off of looks? Uh, like based off of color. Okay. Based off of color, based off the style of the body, the shape, the, the beak. 
performance the colors, on the how they fly? Uh, the performance on the birds. Okay. I got 350 birds. I got a lot of Canadians in flights with the birds. I got some helmets with the birds. I got I got a little bit of mixed stock. Out of uh, out of 350, I might have bred three crosses. Okay. Three crosses, you know. And I, and that's uh, you know that's what it is, you know. But I, I like I like my Canadians. Laces, black models, Canadians. Nice. It's a nice setup. It's a nice setup. Yeah. You know, guys, know guys out here know. Where are you in North Jersey, right? I'm in uh, Somerset. Oh, Somerset. Wow. So yeah, you guys are about half an hour away. Wow. Wasn't too bad. I mean, uh, when when the time is right for me, I'm definitely gonna get back into the hobby. Just right now, just living with my parents and yeah, uh, financially, it's just not ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The time comes. What is the uh, the law pertaining to like keeping birds in New Jersey? Like, is there the anything? Law? It, ain't, it ain't no law out here yeah, in this it's town. Not really, like a law. It, it's not a law. Like, let's say you had chickens or turkeys, you're gonna need livestock permits. Okay. But since they're pigeons, they don't really care. They just uh, as long as they're not landing on somebody else's house and uh, yeah, being a they nuisance, don't they don't okay. really care. It's a lot of stocks in my in my town. Uh, I'm in Hazlitt. It's a lot of new guys. Uh, New guys that uh, just starting off with pigeons. Uh, my friend uh, Chris, he's got birds. He's in town. He's a new starter. He he flies old Canadians and homers, and homers yeah, too. And then it's uh, another new guy that just started. I got some a little action over here now. Maybe this winter be a good winter for me. You know, yeah. since I've been here, I'm here ten years. I didn't catch a bird here yet. Gotcha. I might have lost him to the hawk, but I haven't caught. Any casualties this year so far to the hawk? Oh uh, no, the hawk's not around now. He don't come around oh, to like the first week of September. Yeah, the first week of September. As soon oh, as the oh. weather breaks, he'd be around. Gotcha. And then when he does come them. around, you have to like uh, trick him. You have to let them in one day, then let them out the next day, and then let them in the next. You have to, gotcha. and then if they come the day you have them out, you got to switch it up. Gotcha. You got to gotcha. trick them. Yeah, he knows where my birds are. He comes uh, every year, you know. What is it, Cooper Hawk? Or it's, yeah, it's the red tail of the Cooper. Yeah, but we're down. Cooper. But we're also down in a hollow. What about peregrine falcons? Any falcons? Falcon? No, nah, they don't really come. You, you, you even got some uh, vultures. Oh, vultures here. You got some bald eagles here. Yeah. Nice. You got fish hawks that don't go after birds. This guy trying to stretch his wings. And the breeders don't come out, right? They stay no, in. No, they come out. Really, really, really. Yeah. I, I do let them out every yeah. now and then, but I don't leave them out that much. What kind of bird is this one right here on the corner? The white that's with a the. Nun. That, that's a nun. Okay. A nun right there, guys. That's a nun. There's uh, another one up there also. Yeah, I saw. I saw that one up and, there. And that's a black model. That's cool right there. That's a crazy cock. I had it about maybe two or three years. It's one of my high flyers. So Devin, right? Yeah. What is uh? What is your favorite bird out of the bunch? My favorite bird. I like the uh, bald head rollers. I like those or uh. So that was uh. In yeah, the, those uh, that are over there. Back there. If not, there's yellow white bars that are in, in, inside there it's hard to breed them and i have one that i bred this year is there one particular bird though that you like the most out of the 300 plus that you have yeah that bird would be in there oh yeah let's take yeah. a look so we're gonna check out Devin's favorite bird i know in the hobby you're not supposed to have favorites because uh you lose them to the hawks so you don't want to get attached or too attached to a certain bird but, uh, let's see. So this is his favorite right here. This took me a while. And you bred this one? Yeah. Okay, nice. And what were you looking for when you were breeding this one? So when I was breeding this, I was breeding for like the bronze coloration, uh -huh. but I was also looking for the white rim in the tail. So like when I did it, I made it two birds. I made it like a, uh, a lace uh -huh. on with like a bronze colored tiplet and it came out like this, a nice chocolate lace. Nice. All the eyes look on this bird. Pure, pure, pure white. Oh, wow. That's what a uh, tiplet should Very look nice. like. Very nice, yeah. 
There, get that yellow cap, Liz Devon. Young one. Get a show. Let me show the white bars. Yeah. Oh, the white bars? So this is something that I've been trying to get for a couple of years now, and I've been getting blues with white bars or blacks. This is the first one in probably how many years? Two years? Yeah, about two years. I I'm finally getting the. Bar. I'm finally getting the white bar. If nice. you look, you can see like the white bar yeah. in them. You yeah, see yeah, the bar. Yeah. So like I finally got one. So the next year I'll put this on like a uh, either a red or like a blue with white bars, and yeah. it might come out with done with white bars or come out blue. And every once in a while you get lucky and you'll end up with a yellow with white bars. Nice. What about you, Peter? Uh, me, uh, Which one I'm, you? I'm a booty man now. Okay. I don't even like my Canadians anymore. <laughs> I, I think I might sell a whole loaf. I just might keep the, keep the odd ones, you know? Gotcha, gotcha. I'm a booty man. Blue grizzle booties, regular booties. My Canadians, I don't know, you know, I just like the odd ones, the yellows. I'm yellow and a red guy. Yellows and reds. Is there any one particular bird that you like the most out of the uh, bunch? Yeah, yellow models and yellow model caps. Do you have one over yeah, there you can show us? Yeah, Devin, get, get it. Oh, it's in the breeding? Yeah, I got okay. it in the breeders group. That's all I got is a few pairs. Okay. I had a good pair. I, I used to have a good uh, 50 yellow caps. But, you know, uh, through the years, they got that sickness and... And they, they all died on me. That's a few years ago. And what I kind got of sickness wiped out. is that? What is that? Uh... I think it was uh, a, a Dino, a Dino virus. Okay. A Dino virus that wiped me out, you know? Some sort of virus, guys. Yeah, yeah. some sort of virus. And this is the time of the year right you can get it, too. Yeah, with the cat. Yeah. They're really supposed to have the cap starting towards, like, the eyes, you know? They're really supposed to start Yellow the models. eyes. This is like a crest. It's more like a crest instead of a cap. Uh -huh. Yeah, it doesn't have start... a full cap. The cap's supposed to really start like right by its eye gotcha. and go around. Gotcha, gotcha. This one's more like a crest, you know? Alright, cool. Anything else you guys want to add or? No, I'm just, I, I just want to shout out out there, the guys in Jersey, South Jersey, North Jersey. If you want to stop by and uh, I'm open for feed. 12 hours a day and more than interested for the newcomers, you know, yeah. if and they want to join up with us, yeah. Yeah. you know, I'm on Facebook, cool. you know, I'm always around, always available, always available. We try to stay 100% updated on everything with feed, birds, products, and medication. And if something, if something that I don't have in stock, you can order it, right? you I, I can order it, yeah. it and have it in a few days, whatever you need, you know. Nice. You know, I'm out there. Just give me a shout out there. Give my wife Dawn a, a shout. Her number is 917-681-6982. She's more than welcome to service the new people that give her a call. Nice.